Welcome to OpenMentor.net. In this session, we are going to see RPT's verification points. If you look at this page, this is the main page. There is a MM display. This is the home page that we have gone. Okay. It shows the headers. At the bottom, there is a general, okay, then there is an advanced, okay. And then you could see what all the delays and any error handling to be done, etc. Now let us go to this page level. At this page level, let me resize this window. If you see here, it says enable verification point. There are different types of verification points. The first one is the page title okay if the page has a title you will see that right here user details item master something like that now I'm going to say this JSP page I say enable verification points okay now I'm going to say instead of this it should be saying mm home page this is my expected result if you expect a regular expression like dot star etc you can use this but right now I expect the home page title should be mm home page okay now I enable this verification point same way for the last page okay I enable the for second page also I enable the verification point I leave the properties as it is for the third page also I enable the verification point I leave it as it is for the last page I enable and then I see this as uh, item details I need that as a page okay so once I do that I'm going to run it now you will see the results over here okay let me first run it I select this run the first type of verification point is page title verification point so if the page title does not match he will show errors okay now it's running let us see if you see here it shows some data over here now it says complete now let us go here right click display test log in the test log you could see the verdicts pass and fail now I say events almost uh, if you see in this one everything is saying there is no failure okay it, it doesn't say the verification point has done or not but we have created a verification point but unfortunately this guy has not created any pass or fail statements why we will now debug it why it is not showing that okay now what I have done is rather than running the test directly and then seeing its uh, uh, verification issues what I have done is I have created a schedule pull that test under the user group I have given just only one user you run that schedule now okay so many times some of the logging information may not be coming on your regular script execution so pull that information to the schedule pull the test to the schedule now I am running that schedule just one user this time it should say there should be some verification failures let us see whether it happens or not okay now one user is running using the same script where we have inserted the verification points let it finish then we will see the results if you look here in the protocol data in the event console also you could see that okay let me resize the screen now you could see there is a failure verdict reported now I go right click display test log 
Now you could see there is a verification failure. It says many verifications failed. Now I need to see which one fail. I go to this events, select that, expand all. The first page verification point failed. So how do I know that it has really failed? It says now expected was MM home page, actual was coming as JSP page, so it failed. Whereas for the second page, the expected was user details, actual was user details, so no problem. Third page also, the expected was item master, actual was item master, no problem. For the last one, we expected item details, but what came as JSP page without the title, so that was a failure. So the first set of verification points that you can do is the page title verification point. Okay. Now I'm going to do some more now. Right now I have enabled this verification point. I want to add some other verification point. How do I do? Suppose I take this particular page, okay? This item master. This is the page, right? Now you can say add. If you say once you select this, sorry, you can select, then if you say add, there are multiple things coming over here. What I exactly looking at is rather than adding something at the page level, now this is the response code, right? I expand the tree, this is the response code. From here, when you say add, look at this, there is a response size VP. There's a response code VP. There's a content verification point. Let me do it once again. I select this page. I click add. The verification points do not appear. Whereas I click this. If I do either right click, I select that and then do right click. If you do enable content verification points, then for all the individual requests, it will add. Now I don't want that. Only for this particular request, I want to add a verification point. Right click verification points, enable content VP or you can do that, select that and then click add uh, or insert, then you can get that verification points. Okay. It's better to go to the response then add or from the response right click verification points. Now I'm going to say enable response code verification points. Response code means, okay, if you say relaxed or exact, there is something like uh, HTTP codes 200, HTTP codes uh, 301, 404. So you can have that kind of a HTML code related verification point. So right now, if it is returning 200, okay. If it is returning anything other than 200, this thing will fail, okay. That is the response code verification point. Second thing, right click, I add a verification point, response size verification point. When you say response size verification point, whether th this should exactly match the recorded size. Now, I just click on it. Once I select that on the right hand side, you will see. What do you want? Whether the response size must be at the time of recording, it was 5077 bytes. If you want exact, you can say, I am expecting 6500 bytes. Or you can say at least X, at most X, or you can give a range of bytes, or you can give a range of percentage, right? Now, when the response fails, what should I do? You can click on change, you can say continue, or exit the transaction, or exit the test, or exit the user. You can make the user to stop, or you can make the test to stop, or you can continue. By default, right now we are continuing. Okay, it will give a message and then it will still continue. Now I'm saying this is the con this is the size I'm expecting. We have initially checked the title. Now we have checked the code. Now we are checking. I am expecting 6,500 bytes exactly. Now once that is done, I go to the schedule. Now I start running the schedule. Let us do that. Again, it will run. At this point of time, there will be more verification failures because we are expecting 6,500 bytes. Exactly. If 6,500 bytes are not received from server for that request, this will say verification point failed. 
same way you can also do a content verification checks so you can say this must be the response the whole content must be only this you can do that also but usually the content the entire content we will not do we will do correlation or parameterization but te testing the entire content may not be that great because it may take a long time so let it complete I will show you where the response has failed or where the verification has failed okay now it's finishing so each test will go to initializing running transferring the log then it will go to the completed stage now right click I go to display test log there are a lot of verification point failures now I go to the events click on it expand uh, page title then uh, let me see where exactly the verification has happened okay page title verification point fail right here we need to go to the exact place where the size also failed let me show that place to you one second okay here it is so you need to do one thing to expand the tree because it has got lot of requests now I go to the exact request this is the response this says the response message expected was 6500 bytes actual as 4433 so this is a verification failure at the bottom also in the execution event console also wherever the verification fail you could see those messages so net net if you come to the script when you go to the particular request and then go to the response if you go to the request or the page level you can enable the uh, title verification point that's right here at the bottom okay now if you go to the individual responses if you right click you can have the verification points for the response codes for the response size if you enable content verification points suppose you enable that right then it goes there then it says what do you want in the content I'm saying in the whole content I am expecting a string now I'm saying I expect a string called H-E-L-L-O okay I'm saying case sensitive that's fine so whether you expect something in that particular in the first uh, 3000 bytes the page may be even 1 MB now I'm saying I'm expecting a case sensitive search hello in the whole response okay once you do that enable that then close okay that means now one verification point added the content verification point but remember when you do a content verification point if the size is too large and if you are comparing in too many places it may take more time so better unless otherwise it is extremely important you need not do the content verification points but if you know where the uh, response has your string you can restrict to the first 3000 bytes or the first 4000 bytes or if the page is too big you will be getting into the trouble okay now I go to the schedule now let us run it once again you can understand the schedule once it runs it will say whether the string is found or not this is almost like a text checkpoint from the page instead of a UI object it checks in the entire response so there are uh, content verification point size verification point HTTP return code 200 300 or uh, 400 or 500 series response codes verification point that's a page title verification point so depending upon the business situation and the need you can choose whatever type of checkpoint you can uh, you can incorporate in the script so it helps you it helps you to control the script flow suppose if you say if this verification fails you don't want to continue in that kind of a situation you can always say hey this is uh, better to stop the script at this point of time rather than going through the entire flow of the application so now you could see the graph has shown now you can go to the display test log and there is a lot of verification failure you could see that then if you go to the events right if you go to the events only thing is this is the event tree so you need to scroll down okay so you need to scroll down to the respective places 
and uh, page title verification point whatever verification point you have done so you need to scroll down to the right place otherwise it will be very difficult okay so if you can say this is the one this is the one which verification point that you are looking at you need to make sure that you go to the right place okay so this is the typical kind of checking while the test is running where exactly I am checking the code or the response or the content etc okay I hope this is clear uh, in each of these uh, verification point types title code content and the response size so size code content I will stop this lecture over here thank you